Hello again everyone, this is Mike KC3AA with my 3 element homebrew 6 meter Yagi project. I just uh, disassembled the driven element and I thought I'd show what it looks like before I try to reinforce it and make it more uh, sturdy. So, yesterday, even though the weather was horrible, had some thunderstorm activity. Uh, I managed to do the reflector and the driven element, which I am happy with its uh, results. Brackets came in nicely, fits real snug, and I think it'll last a long time. And also take note, I did mark the direction which way it's pointing with some duct tape. You can use something else as long as you can see it from ground level, that's all that matters. So you know which way it's pointed in case it drifts. And of course I made some mistakes on the drilling. Didn't quite have the perfect tools, but you make do with what you have. Alright, so next update will be with uh, the driven element. I'm very confident. Well, 73 for now. And please like my video. This is Mike, KC3AA in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hello everyone, this is Mike, KC3AA again, with an update of my home brew 3 element 6 meter Yagi. And it took a bit of trial and error and some adjustments due to not having the proper tools, but I am satisfied with the uh, mechanics of this. It's a learning curve for me, but uh, we'll see what the performance is like. Weather was windy today, but a nice, uh, it was in the 70s today. So perfect day for this. Worked outside most of the day. So let's take a look here. This is my driven element. I recommend marking the bottom side of your boom so you can see it from the ground level, that way you know which direction it is in case you have to make an adjustment. The tubing is simply EMT purchased at your local hardware store. Now it's not exactly balanced as far as weight's concerned with the mounting bracket where it's located, but for the way I constructed the driven element, uh, this will just have to do, and since it's just a three element, it's not too heavy. So I think it'll hold up just fine. Now, I have to be careful here to make sure that the uh, feed line does not make contact with the bolts that uh, secure it to the boom. Otherwise, uh, they'll have some matching issues. And those are hydraulic uh, clamps that I purchased fairly inexpensively. And finally, the reflector. All right, so next update will be the test results as I go up there about 20 feet. This is uh, Mike, KC3AA. Until next time, please uh, like. If you really enjoy this video, please like it. Thank you. All right, this is Mike, KC3AA again, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right, testing out my homebrew 3 element 6 meter Yagi. Just li lifted it up. It's on my push a pull about 21 feet up in the air and of course I still need to raise it higher but this is a good test looking good from the ground side fairly aligned I'm happy with it so let's see what it looks like as far as performance is concerned stay tuned for the next update like the video if you like it 73 Mike KC3 AA hello everybody once again, this is Mike, KC3AA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, with an update on my homebrew 3-element 6-meter Yagi project. And I just uh, finished putting it together, reinforcing the elements, and hoisting it up to about 21 feet. It is a little bit below the roof line, uh, so it does have some effect with the performance as well as the match. Uh, this is a split dipole design, no matching network and it is made uh, from aluminum boom material as well as EMT pipe purchased at your local hardware store. 
I also bought uh, some uh, brackets yeah, from DX Engineering. And uh, this is interesting. So before reinforcing the uh, uh, elements, uh, the SWR um, at, uh, now this is tested at 50.150 megahertz. The best SWR was uh, 1.7 to 1. Now after reinforcing it, uh, the SWR did change. Um, again, 50.150. And the match went to uh, 2.7 to 1. Quite interesting. The best SWR was found to be at uh, 52.7 megahertz. And that uh, happened to be 1.4 to 1. And I uh, attribute that to the driven element uh, split between the, or the gap between the elements is shorter. And uh, I now am using the fiberglass rod uh, to keep it more sturdy and this proper spacing for the driven element. So I believe that uh, attributed to that difference there. Um, it's just something I'll have to work through and this is a learning curve for me as I mentioned but so far uh, there's no uh, stations on tonight uh, but a uh, beacon out of Ohio about a hundred miles away is coming in fairly well um, of course I have to rely on conditions at that distance but uh, it seems to be f uh, fairly decent and um, Next up will be to raise the antenna above the roof line, which will probably have another uh, effect on the matching. So uh, I do have plans, uh, just stay tuned, I do have plans for future uh, antenna projects, including an LFA for 6 meters. Uh, that looks like an interesting project, probably a 4 element or a 5 element version. Eventually I'll be looking at stacking Yagis move my way down to HF. Uh, that'll be uh, probably starting small scale, 10 meters, work my way to 15, 20 meters as well. And this is fun. I don't have that much experience with me uh, mechanics, so I'm learning a lot. And this is what the hobby's about, so um, I've been having a blast here. Been licensed since 1994. Still having a blast. Alright, so stay tuned uh, for future updates as well as projects. There is the beacon coming in out of Ohio in the background. And uh, please stay s safe, healthy, and uh, like this video if you like it, alright? So for now, 73 from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Mike, Yellow Charlie 3 Alpha Alpha. You take care.